earlier this evening, I managed to download a little something. And you will be able to see it here. When my iPod powers up, you will notice something a little bit different. And I'm not going to say what it is, um, because I'm assuming you've already read the description. If not, well, it'll be a surprise. So let's see how long this takes to fully boot. There we go. Notice something new? Yep. This is the 2.0 upgrade. And, sorry, I meant to hit the button on the computer and I hit the button on my iPod. So let's slide to unlock. Anyway, so here's the apps, here's the um, app store. And first of all, I need to turn on Wi-Fi, so let's go ahead and do that. Now that Wi-Fi has been activated, let's go into the App Store and take a look. Go ahead and tap right here. And this was an app I was recently browsing, but I no longer need to view it, so let's go back. We are on search right now. Let's go to Featured Applications. There we go. Now you have two different categories here. You have Top or Top Free. I'm sorry, it says New and What's Hot. I'm, I'm sorry, I couldn't read those. Uh, so it's New and What's Hot. Um, but if we go to our... Now I know what I... <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Uh, so here we are in top 25. Now if we tap here, you have top and top free. So let's take a look at the top free. The number one is this Tap Tap Revenge, which I already downloaded, tried it. I don't know. I didn't really care for it. I think because none of the music I cared for. Well, let's try this lightsaber thing, this... Uh, this uh, iPhone saber and it's a free app so let's do that so I'll just tap here on the free if I can get my finger to cooperate and you notice it changed to it changed to install here so I am going to tap on install Oops. there we go tap install and now I need to enter my information, so pardon me a moment. <coughs> now I've entered it, and now here it is, the iPhone Saber being downloaded, and you can see the little blue progress bar. And... There it is. Um, to be honest, I don't want to keep this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to immediately erase it. So to do that, you just tap and hold on the icon just like you would as if you were to move it around. And for those of you who have an iPod Touch, if you remember the web applications, how they had this little X in the upper left-hand corner, well, I'm going to tap that, provided I can do that successfully without... Come on. There we go. A delete iPhone Saber, and yes, I do want to delete it. Essentially, what this is saying is 
uh, this application has not been backed up and um, you will not be able to recover any data or the application itself which I don't care about so I'm gonna tap delete and it's gone let's go ahead and scroll over to my second uh, home screen here first of all I have to make them stop dancing there we go and um, let's go over here to uh, oh by the way one of the things I should point out is um, Wikipedia, DeviantArt, uh, Jive Talk, <clears throat> excuse me, Jive Talk, uh, Hotmail, and the uh, Dictionary are not downloaded apps. They are web apps. I'm only keeping them until we can find a substitute that are downloadable apps. I really don't think I don't expect to find one for Hotmail though. Um, let's go into. Let's try this one. This is a really neat little thing. Um, it's basically, it's kind of like notes, but instead of tapping on the keyboard, what you do is you run your fingers across it. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new note here. Whoops. Didn't want to do that. Okay. So I'm going to add a note. And now the way this works is I just tight I just go ahead and slide my finger across and I'm going to try for the word you and see what ha oops it didn't register. Let's try that again. There we go. And let's do it. And there you got it, the word you. And in case it doesn't it's not the right word, uh, you can scroll through um, these uh, suggestions here until you find the one that you want. But you notice I didn't leave um, the keys. So this is a handy little app. Another one that I really, really like is um, Weatherbug, which would give away my location, so I'm not going to bother using it. Um, I did download the VNC client. I'm just waiting for some information to figure out how to set it up on the Mac, and when I get that, I'll show it to you. Um, let's see, what else could I show you with the time left? I don't want to show you anything that has any type of sound output because we don't have any speakers hooked up. Let's go into the iMaze. And the way this works is you move your iPod around And you see the little ball moves around. So you get the idea. You get, uh, there's also a clock down here which keeps track of your time. And you have easy or hard mazes to choose from. We have about a minute and a half left. Um, so the very last thing that I wanted to show you was, we're going to go back to the first panel here. And I'm going to type here on the calculator. Email has been enhanced, but it would expose my account, so I don't want to do that. So here we are in the calculator. And in case you're wondering, you know, does this have a scientific calculator? What you do is you turn it sideways, and boom, there's your scientific calculator. And it doesn't matter. You do not have to have, um, you know, it, it it's... You know, left or right-handed, it's perfect. And you can even go like that. So That was just a brief overview of the App Store, how to get an application, how to delete an application, and a various, and a, sort of an overview of what applications there are that are available. Um, I'm just about out of time. Comments and questions are welcome. If you have an iPod Touch and you haven't already done so, get the update. I highly recommend it. Um, thank you for watching, and have a nice evening.